Hello everybody, this is Luckless Lovelocks bringing you this war of mine again. Good guy Lovelocks is dead. Long live bad boy Luckless. Um, in modern war, you will die like a dog for no good reason. In this playthrough, we are doing not the total opposite of the last one. Um, we're not going to go around just murdering indiscriminately, but we're going to steal, or we're going to kill, or we're going to do whatever it takes to survive this war. Um, and we are going to get our revenge on all those that wronged us in the last playthrough. So buckle your seatbelts and uh, enjoy. Survive. Uh, so I guess I can pick my survivors. Choose your story. There's some new ones. Probably only 20 days. Or I can random. And I think I'm going to random again. I think it makes it more challenging. Um, and a little bit more interesting. So let's see what we end up with. Hopefully not... Hopefully we end up with one guy that can carry a lot, because that helps out a lot, initially. I'm really, I really dig this game, like, I, I'm really enjoying it. And I, I think I have a lot, uh, a lot to learn, there's a lot, there's a lot of room for growth on uh, how I play the game. Looks like we've got at least one woman, and we've got, is that Boris again? Or Bruno, sorry, Bruno. Okay, so we've got Bruno and two women. Oh, interesting. Started in the capital by the government military, the rebels refused to surrender. Caught in the middle of the fighting with no running water or phones. Struggling with lack of food and medications are civilians. In a civil war, everyone is affected one way or another. Roman used to fight for the rebels. Oh, that's a guy. Oh, looks like a girl. But he became disillusioned and ran away. Arika came to the capital fleeing persecutions in her hometown. Bruno has been cut off by the siege from his home and his dearest friend. Homeless, on the run, and with nothing to lose but their lives, they band together to survive. I think we got a soldier, guys. So perfect. <laughs> okay, so Bruno we're familiar with. Uh, I'm still going to read through his bio. I think it, it'll be the same, though. Uh, before the war, I used to own a restaurant. I even have my own TV show, Bruno's Cuisine. I'm sure you've seen it. I visited beautiful places where I was filmed cooking exquisite dishes. All that seems of no importance now, don't you think? Nowadays, you're lucky if you get your hands on some canned meat or a bag of rice. And who knows how long this war is going to last. Um, Roman trained in combat. Yes. Smoker, too. Okay. I never thought I'd end up running and hiding from my buddies, but that's how things turned out. We were like brothers, and now I'm a dead man to them. My crew had ruled the hood since we were teens, until just before the war. Then some of us got drafted, like my best friend Leon. Others, like me, volunteered for the militia. It was going to be the ultimate showdown, and every single one of us wanted a piece of the action. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. And then, last survivor, sneaks quietly. Riga. Oh, interesting. I'm a simple girl from the hood, and I know life. Treat raised me more than my father did. That old sot beat me whenever he felt like it, and knew how to make it hurt. That's all over now. He bit the dust in the first days of the war. Been a cat burglar since I turned 14. You know how it is. I'm better at it than anyone you know, I can sneak like a fox. You'd be a fool kicking me out. Hope you can carry a lot too, Rika. Would be awesome. Okay. So, um Let's start start searching. Always the first step. No reason not to grab everything. Um, Roman, 
That door's locked. Should be able to get through to there. Could really use a shovel. So yeah, this is, uh, once again, it's a bit of a different layout. That's really cool. This is actually similar to the layout I had for um, the first time I tried out the game. So we've got some uh, some parts, some sugar, some weapon parts, and some electrical parts. We've already found some water, and some wood, and some components. I wonder if you, it's always kind of like the same, or similar set of items you find. Initially some herbs, some more uh, building materials, and some water. This is really, I love, I love starting, uh, I love starting new games. I don't know what it is, but it's like, the, especially random games like this. It's really exciting, you never know what you're going to find. More weapon parts. We're definitely going to want to make a early uh, knife, if we can. Door is barred. Um, that one might be locked. Uh, so we've got some food and some more gun parts. What did he say? We should uh, build something. We've got some components now. Uh, this is the third time I've started with uh, with Bruno. I wonder if it's. Uh, if you always get them, although it's, I did pick random uh, the last two times. Bed, I could build a bed first. I think that's probably a good idea. So is the metal workshop. Let's do the metal workshop. That way we can build some tools to unlock this stuff if we don't find any. And I wonder, hmm, I wonder if there's, let me just check something. Is there a, um, I can't change the controls. I wonder if there's like a hot key to go to the different, uh, different survivors. Okay, two lockpicks. Yeah, that's, that seems pretty standard. So you can choose, for, um, get into one um, set of locked doors. Just do that. Okay, you built that um, metal workshop. We're doing it. We're doing it, guys. He's like, um, Roman's like, oh, can't wait to get my hands on a weapon. I'm gonna play him as like this crazy fighter dude that just like gets into fights when he shouldn't. And lockpick. Uh, let's see if we can get enough materials for a crowbar because it's a bit handier. And mm, I don't know. Not sure where I should use the lockpick. Time with a shovel. Let's just use it here. Skunky Err, bad boy luckless run, you got it. Welcome back, buddy. I've already I've already got a knife and, and uh I've got a combat specialist this time. I, I randomed again and I got uh, I got Bruno the cook, I got a combat specialist, and uh, someone that's good at sneaking. Okay, so we've got the gem as well. And Bullet. It's good. Might as well clear this rubble out. Oh no, that's that's more stuff. Oh, and we've got another knife. Sweet. Um, I'm gonna see if I could build a bed. Actually. 
Huh. Could also start building just straight up, like, get a rain collector going. I think... I think a bed's better, though. Um... It's gonna be the best place for this. <laughs> right by the entrance. Yeah, whatever, I don't care. I'm so excited. I was so excited to get back to this game. I just, I couldn't wait. Uh, I, I wanted to do it last night, but uh, I think, like, I wanted to rest my arm and see if I could get my sleep schedule a bit back on track, and I, and I was able to. Um, I slept until, I don't know, like five in the morning or something. Okay, so we can get in there. Can we build anything else if you use right now? Excuse me. Chair. Uh, I'm gonna wait a bit. It's locked. So um, yeah, Roman. I'm gonna I'm gonna play as a bit of like a wild card. It does have a lot of replayability. It does. Um, I'm actually really impressed with the amount of replayability. It looks like this is pretty similar to like the first time that I tried the game out. This is looking like a pretty similar uh, shelter. Right, okay. But we already got two weapons, which is awesome. We all have carrying capacity of 10. Um, sneaks quietly. <sighs> okay, let's take a look at what we've got here. Uh, Old Town used to be a crucible of cultures with its distinct mix of architectural design and many great Grazny and Vesny restaurants and pubs. Military positions in the overlooking mountains make it a dangerous place now. If we take the risk, we might find some supplies there. Some food, huge amounts of materials, lots of meds, huge amounts of weapons, huge amounts of parts. Sounds promising. Roguelike with the random character variations and loots. Yeah, it is. It is. You're right. We did a gas station. This was one of the very first places. It's really cool. Like uh, We've got like basically entirely random starting positions, too. Uh, they're starting places to search. Um, uh, this is one of the very first places people looted while fleeing from the city. There have been a, f a few hour-long ceasefire intended to clean the whole area from civilians, but it was broken. Many people died, though neither side claimed responsibility to this day, despite heavy shelling of the whole district. The station is in a surprisingly decent shape. It may have been looted, but it might still be worth uh, to check it out. Lots of food, huge amounts of materials, some meds, huge amounts of weapons, lots of parts. Wow, okay. Lots of meds. I think I like Old Town better so far. Rune Villa, they say some people still live there. Against all odds, they must have some supplies stocked, like canned food and possibly bandages or medicines. But they don't want to trade. Ah. We're desperate, we could try to steal from them. Lots of food, huge amounts of materials. Uh, lots of meds, huge amounts of weapons, huge amounts of parts. I'm not gonna like, I'm not gonna go like, just killing people indiscriminately. So, uh, quiet house. It's in a housing estate that remains almost untouched. It's calm, area of little houses with porches and gardens. Most of these houses are still in inhabited. People are trying to lead normal lives there. We've got nothing to look for there unless we're willing to steal. 
Uh, okay. Let's go to Old Town. <laughs> or should I just go, like... Should I do, like, the exact opposite? Just go around, like, killing people. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm doing it. Huge amounts of weapons. Um... Sleep in the bed, Bruno. It's revenge time! This one. I'm gonna bring, uh. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> oh, God. Lucky to stay in their own house despite the devastation. Yep. Firewood left in that pile. So they're going down. Opponents are probably more valuable. Oh, I'm surprised there's nothing in that room. Locked. Or barred from the other side. Alright. But oh man. Gonna do what he's gotta do. Here we go. First chance to steal. What do you got? What do you got? Give me your weapon parts for sure. Uh, I don't care about the book for now. But I do want the parts. Someone's here. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Emil, someone got in. The mother load. The canned food is awesome. And water. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna take as much of the, as much of this stuff as I can. Some components. Some building materials. Okay, that's good enough. Let's uh, let's get out of here. That was your last mistake. Oh, let's just get out of here. Fuck it. I have no reason to fight. Ah, oh, that felt good. Do some stealing. Plenty of really fine stuff. What a night. All right. Get cooking, Bruno. Uh, we can cry over stealing once we survive this hell. Yeah. Agreed. What does Arika have to say? She's a, she was a cat burglar. But she probably doesn't care. Spies are hard to come by. If Roman hadn't stolen goods, we'd be in an even worse situation now. Everyone's on board, man. Roman. I don't plan to die here. If it means I sometimes have to steal, so be it. Oh, we got the best crew for this. Oh, we need to build an oven, actually. Fuck, I forgot to do that.
That is key. And Arika, you can go build a... Actually, can you get in here or is it locked? locked. Can you build a... No. Um, I'm afraid that if I build a lock pick it's that's going to be locked. Uh no, it's not going to be locked. Let's just do it. Sleeping on the floor. All right, Boris. I can probably I can do the double meal. Two fuel. Unlock that. Because we've got vegetables too, so we can we can do the double double meal. Anything you can do while we're waiting? Not really, eh? Oh, you can dig through here. Uh, we'll get Bruna to eat. Uh, we can get everyone food this time around because we've got one canned good. Um, Bruno. I don't think there's anything else we can build right now. I bet. rather found some building materials. Maybe we'll have someone come that we can trade with. That was locked. Do they, are these both? She's a smoker. Um... Smoker. They're all smokers. Damn. Not locked, not locked. Damn. Okay. Well. Let's get uh, these two food for the day. And then we can we can just skip to the end. It's nothing much there's nothing else to do. cigarettes. Okay, end of the day. So we've got a uh, shelled school. Shelled several times. Unfortunately, most of the cellars have collapsed, so it might be a good idea to bring a shovel, maybe some other tools. They say some homeless people have taken refuge inside the building. And so we're, we, we, um, we went there in the previous playthrough. And supermarket located in the area remaining under military control, but people are still trying to scavenge it for supplies. We can expect to meet other scavengers there, so it's probably best not to get in their way. Some doors might still be locked. A crowbar would come in handy. Uh, yeah, we ran into that place too uh, in the last playthrough. Uh, I don't know how random the encounters are, though. So it might be totally different. And... This time around, we'll get... Um, 
It's market for the chance that you get the good scenario. No, I'm not gonna. I don't think I'm gonna go there yet. I think I might go back to the place I just went to. Oh, you go to the supermarket. Excuse me. We'll send out uh, Rika this time. Let's go to the supermarket, why not? The thing is, it's saying uh, it's probably best... Some doors may still be locked, so I'd rather have a crowbar when I go there. Well, like, we know that this stuff in the Rune Villa isn't locked, for the most part. So, let's go back there. And... Uh, Bring her a knife again. Need to sit down for a while. She's sneaky. Wonder, does she like run? If she runs, she probably doesn't make a lot of noise. That's cool. See if she can sneak around. Um, this time, not draw their attention. There's lots of good stuff in here still. I'm not really. I don't care so much about sugar. Black and white picture of the owner's wife surrounded by burning candles. Did she pass away? It was before the war and she was lucky not to be part of it. Oh. Someone must have been here. Okay. So they, they found me out. How do you stream it? Sazam146, welcome. Not sure... Oh, like what program am I using? I'm, I'm using OBS. I better be careful now. Because they know I'm here. What was in here again? Oh, cigarettes. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the cigarettes because our people will need that to stay happy. And actually, moonshine is valuable as well. But I really need the building materials. Actually, the water I don't need so much. I'm actually I'm gonna I'm just gonna take this stuff and go. It's pretty much exactly what I need. Is that what you meant, uh, Zazen? Oh. He didn't see us. What? Yes, yes. Oh man, that was close. <sighs> Lethally wounded. Oh man. Actually, before I go, 
I want to see if this guy has anything. Maybe there's, maybe he's got a bandage. Actually, I'm going to keep looking around to see if there's any uh, bandages, because I'm going to need it. Stack it, eh? There's gotta be there's gotta be some medicine here. It's probably there. I feel, I feel so bad. I feel so bad doing that. But, I mean, that was self-defense. Okay, there's gotta be bandages here. Um, what are, can I use it? This is, uh, the, um, herbal meds better than the regular, than the, uh, herbs. Alright, let's, uh, let's get out of here. I don't want her dying. Can I use this? No, I think I have to bring it back. What? What are you doing? Oh, that was exciting. It's actually, aside from the sniper that we encountered in the first playthrough, that's like the first combat that we've had. Because uh, the first time I played through this game for you guys, it was uh, us playing like as morally good as possible. So no stealing, no fighting, unless it was self-defense. <sighs> Can't wait to get some guns. I'm gonna send. Uh, I'm gonna send our soldier on a rampage. But she was. Uh, just leave me alone. She was mortally wounded, so we're gonna have to get her uh, bandaged up. We've been raided. Someone came at night to take our to take our things by force. Just a couple of scavengers. They didn't do much harm. We had some weapons, but not enough for everyone. What? They stole the food? Wow, they stole a lot of good stuff. Damn. Looks like she won't make it. Okay, well, we need to get you that bandage. Matters we have supplies, uh, how we got them is of less concern. Rather, Ara get killed than if she got killed. We need her. Yeah, we do need her. Um, Bruno says, if Arika killed, there was probably no other way. It's true. True. Um, this is war. We do everything to survive. I, I had no choice. I had to steal. We need supplies, and it's so hard to get them otherwise. This might be my end unless someone gets bandages. I'm not going to make it. Please help me. Yeah, I'm glad I grabbed some bandages. She would have died. Uh, Virtually nothing. I'm going to burn the book. In retrospect, I probably shouldn't have taken the book. Okay, 
go rest, um, Arika. Four twelve. What's that? So we've got enough for one meal. So someone's gonna have to not eat this time around. Sad, depressed. It's not good. It's the raids. They they depress uh, depress your survivors. Just got back. How did she get lethally wounded? Uh, we went back to uh, to the same house we were at previously, and uh, I got penned in. By, uh, by someone there, and he attacked me with a knife, so I defended myself. Barely got out alive. But uh, I was able to get some bandages. But we got raided, and they stole a bunch of our food. So I'm, I'm going to do this this time. We need to defend ourselves. Look, I need to upgrade the thing. I'm going to upgrade this as soon as possible, and I'm going to start um, patching up our, our, uh, our place. We definitely need this crowbar so we can open up what's left in our safe house. And just move up there right away. She'll be fine though, I, I got a bandage. It's just, I'll have her recover. And that's about all I can make right now. Can they use the crowbar at the same time, I wonder? So we're about to find out. Okay, that's good. Sometimes it's actually, like, I, I, I thought about this, sometimes it might be better not to just get everything. Because raiders can steal the stuff that you have, right? Um, as long as you've collected it, but if you don't, if you haven't collected it yet, they can't steal it. But whatever. So we've got uh, we've got enough for one more meal. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and make it so that Arika can eat. anymore so we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get Bruno to talk to her we'll get her to eat first heard about aggressive groups wandering in this area that's the other thing I wanted to uh, take some screenshots of the new people sad sad what are you doing? Okay. It's like tying her shoe or something. What have I done without the things I took? Yeah, you're, you're cool, Arika. Did what you had to do. Hey, Arika, listen to me. What do you want? Just to remind you that you're not alone here. Go away. No, I want to make it through, and I need your help. Gotta get her out of her funk. So stop crying and pull yourself together. There's not that many uh, different dialogue options for these talks, which is a bit, I don't know, it's a bit disappointing considering how much randomness there is in the rest of the game. 
How could Ariko leave those people with almost nothing? He should talk, he did the same thing. <laughs> so we're almost at night time. Uh, Arika is going to stay in the, the bed. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that name properly. And we're going to send Roman out. Uh, not to the Ruin Villa this time. Supermarket. We've got a crowbar. So we can go to the supermarket this time. Guard. Uh, scavenge. Sleep in bed. Go. I don't. Th Even if we get the good encounter, um, I don't think these guys trade. I'm not alone here. You go or you take the upstairs and the roof. Okay, let's see how these guys react. This could be disaster. Hey, you. Should be enough for both of us, don't worry. Okay, good. Woo! Maybe it's always the same. Probably what, still want to get some more bandages. I'm going to be getting into lots of fights, but I also want to get... Uh, Building materials and food. Need a, so much of everything. I wish I had one guy that could carry more than 10. Shells aren't worth it right now, at all. Like, I have no use for them. I'm also curious if they actually grab stuff from those piles or if it's just for show. Take one more component. I don't need the water that much. Got my eye on you. I'm not messing with you, man. I'm not messing with you. Fatal leaflet with skull and crossbone reads, danger do not touch unexploded ammunition. Any weapons, ammunition, or equipment left behind or unexploded may be booby-trapped. Do not touch anything. Do not risk severe injury or death. Report any such finds to the nearest army outpost. The same as before. This whole environment seems to be the same.
Excuse me. It's basically the same stuff. I'd love to find a like a gun. That would be awesome. Water. That's gonna be handy later. Actually, if I've understood that message, never seen any explode or booby trap me. Yeah, you, you understood. Um, it might just be flavor text. It might not actually mean anything. Tobacco. I actually think I'd rather have the fertilizer than the tobacco. You can make food out of it. And I think there's another fertilizer up above. Fuck, what are you doing? I don't want to cut over here, trust me, okay. <sighs> oh man, I thought she was like running at me to Kill me. Oh shit. Nope. <laughs> I pulled out my fucking knife by accident and that guy almost shot me. Where was that fertilizer? Running low on time. Oh fuck. Um check one more spot. We should be able to run to the exit. Bar. Okay, there's lots of stuff still here. Let's just go back. Actually, hold on. I still have more time, don't I? I think I'm freaking out for no reason. Shotgun. It's really good for trading too. Fuck, there's so much stuff. I'm definitely gonna have to come back here. Fertilizer good. Cabinet stash. Yeah. Keep my eye on the time. I love some more fertilizer. Yeah, because that's where we keep our food, right? In uh, metal cans. Bunch of uh, water, too. I'm tempted to take the water, because I think I'm going to be running out soon. And I can always come back for the broken shotgun stuff. Some more water I can collect. Running out of time. I'm just gonna run to the exit. Come on. Fast, 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 fast. Go, Roman. So, we're definitely gonna come back here. There's way more stuff we can collect, and it's safe. 